Holstein America is sponsored by Merck Animal Health, an industry leader in dairy care solutions, including Estromate and Fertigil. Visit dairycare365.com to learn more. It's something most of us take for granted. It's milk, it's butter, it's cheese and ice cream, all the things that make life better. It's also the people who stand behind these products. I love being able to work with my family every single day. To see those people that work so hard that are dedicated to providing food for people to, to feed the world. And it's all made possible by the Holstein breed, the world's perfect cow. The Holstein cow is, uh, is a really a cash machine. It's something you can always dream about with Holsteins, is having something really outstanding that you produced. Whether it's uh, milk production or whether it's uh, better use of resources, better cow comfort, better for the communities, it, it's all been led by the genetic efforts by the Holstein Association. This is Holstein America. Hi, I'm Michelle Davidson. Every day, people walk into dairy sections like this one, never really giving it much thought. But there's an entire industry that made this possible, a miracle of efficiency that makes the purchase of the world's perfect food one of the world's easiest things to do. Behind it all is the Holstein cow, the most iconic symbol in all of agriculture. Just about everyone can recognize her distinctive black and white color, but many don't fully appreciate the contribution she makes. Today, the Holstein cow accounts for more than 90% of all milk production. Her productivity has doubled since the 1950s. And more production per cow has resulted in less impact on the environment. But the story of Holsteins is really about the people who raise them. Our journey begins in Wisconsin, where a family-owned dairy has discovered the advantages of registered Holsteins for producing one of the nation's leading cheese brands. The cows are always the backbone of what we do. And isn't that the truth, right? These cows pay for not just a lot of stuff on the farm, but then we take it back home uh, where we raise our families and pay for tuition and, and uh, orthodontist and, and music lessons and all the things that, uh, that the rest of the country enjoys too. The Holstein cow is, uh, is a really a cash machine. You know, Holstein uses the term of more profit and uh, and it really is the case that from uh, the value of her calf, especially if it's a heifer calf sired by an AI bull, to uh, the, the value of the milk she produces in that subsequent lactation, uh, multiple lactations with the reproduction we've built in the cows now, uh, nothing, nothing in livestock agriculture can beat a Holstein cow when it comes to generating revenue that comes back right here on the farm. Our farm's been in uh, business since 1978. Uh, we're a first generation farm on this site. Grew up on a, on a small dairy about 60 miles from here. And uh, my older brothers started this farm uh, in the uh, late 70s on a rented farm and we located here in Waterloo in 1981. Well, being the youngest of the four original owners here, um, I was in high school when my brother started farming and spent a lot of time here on weekends and summers and I uh, really enjoyed it, and up to enroll in UW-Madison, where I earned a bachelor's degree in dairy science, and then uh, literally the day after graduation, I moved here to Waterloo and started farming, and I've uh, been doing it ever since. Uh, we milk about 1,100 cows here, and uh, we have another location about six miles away where we milk 800 cows all three times a day. In 2001, we started construction of our own farmstead cheese plant, and uh, we've been uh, pleased to produce uh, high quality cheese and we choose to make some fresh mozzarella, mascarpone, fresh cheeses that marry well with our fresh Holstein milk and uh, can, can go to consumers that are uh, looking for that product. So you can find our products everywhere from the DeKalb Farmers Market in, in uh, suburban Atlanta all the way to Pike's Market in Seattle and uh, many places in between. To be honest, our cheese is probably in a lot of places that I don't even know it's at. Uh, because someone else is taking that product and getting it to the end consumer and uh, it's always fun to find it, you know, when, you, when, when we're out and about to bump into it somewhere, have get a text or an email or a Facebook message that say, hey, I saw your product in New York City and uh, that's pretty cool. Well, the Holstein Association can provide us with a wealth of information 
both on the cows within our herd and also the breed in general. By plugging our cows into the rest of the breed, we're along for the ride with the best breeders in the country, with the association that's out there looking for uh, genetic progress. As the, as the association monitors genetic progress, they're, they're shifting some of the qualifications, whether it be into some of the health traits, production traits, uh, health scores, uh, and then in w along with that, you know, we, Holstein has always excelled in the amount of milk she can produce, uh, the amount of revenue she can generate. So as the breed progresses, we, our cows benefit and progress with it. And, uh, and it comes back to benefit us here on the farm with the, um, with the improvements that, that we're making genetically, we see in the barn every day. A, a Midwestern dairy farm is a great cash revenue, uh, cash flow machine. A lot of income, of course, with that, a lot of expenses. On our farm, you know, a vast majority of the expenses, probably 80 or 90% are spent right here within a 50 mile radius of our farm. Uh, feed being 40% of our costs, of course, that's, that's very local. Um, our suppliers, from our milking equipment, to our machinery, to, uh, to building materials, they're all local people. And so we're very pleased to contribute to our local economy, our help, when they go home and take their paychecks home and cash them, they're spending those locally. So a dairy farm, a, a dairy farm in uh, any community is a great asset to that community economically. Um, there's countless opportunities in, in dairying, and they there always have been, and there and, and I, I still find them today. I always say I could fill a legal pad up with improvements that I see today on my dairy. They say I should improve that; it would benefit the cow this way. I should look into maybe some more soil conservation. I should invest in a piece of equipment that would save labor this way or that way. So there's countless opportunities out there and that really makes it fun that we can always be working on improve, making improvements. You know, the thing with daring is, it's not a get rich quick scheme. You really have to be committed to it. And once you commit to it, then you just, then you just put blinders on and you keep looking straight ahead. Americans enjoy more cheese today than ever before. Holsteins are ideal for cheese production because they outproduce all other breeds in total pounds of milk, butterfat, and protein. All of this is possible because registered Holstein breeders have been committed to improving the genetics of their cattle, like in this next chapter of our story. I grew up on a dairy farm. I was never had to be told to go to work. I always just did it on my own. I enjoyed doing it. When I came home from school, if I wasn't playing a sport, I was always over working on the farm. Um, a lot of hard work, but really rewarding work. And uh, I think from a very young age, I knew that that was something that I wanted to be involved in. So my father moved to our location in Oakfield in 1966. Uh, at that time, he started milking with uh, maybe about 65 cows. Uh, today, we milk on uh, four different locations, a total of about uh, 8,800 milking cows. My wife and I kind of have a passion for registered Holsteins as well as my father. It's kind of uh, hobby that we've been able to manage into a really good part of our business and the markets have really been driven more towards genomics lately. We always had an index portion of our breeding program uh, but we definitely ramped that up on the past 10 years since genomics has really become popular in the industry and so we have really aggressive embryo transfer program. We, we transfer about 6,500 embryos a year. About uh, a third of those are uh, IVF in vitro embryos and the other two-thirds are conventional embryos. Now we're to the point that we have our own prefixed animals, our own cattle that we have bred and so we're able to flush those for the next generation for marketing purposes. My role with that basically is making sure that we're not missing anything. There's a lot of calves that are being born and we just want to make sure that we're not missing any of those elite index animals. Those home runs are few and far between, uh, but we're really happy when, when they come out because they tend to be the reason why we're in this business. 
if you don't lead, you're going to follow. These technologies allow producers to become much more efficient. So from environmental efficiencies to cow efficiencies to labor efficiencies. The more efficient we can be, the more economic we can be in making food products. So we're really trying to put food on the market and uh, genomics has allowed us to enter kind of a new era of progress. And so theoretically, the, the, the faster progress we can make genetically, uh, hopefully the cheaper we can make food. And for those consumers that are more environmentally minded or environmentally focused, it should also allow us to reduce our carbon footprint because as we become, become more efficient, we're having to use less resources in order to make those food products. The people who are in the dairy industry are the salt of the earth. I mean, they're, you know, I think most people in agriculture are just the best people out there. You know, they're honest, hardworking, and um, great mentors for kids to be in that environment, to see those people that work so hard, that are dedicated to um, basically providing food for people to, to feed the world. We think the future is bright. We're really excited to be a part of agriculture. There's definitely going to be changes, and so we need to be ready for those changes. We need to embrace those changes. Uh, we need to continue to strive to be more efficient, whether that's uh, in how we breed our cattle, um, how we produce crops, how we make milk. Uh, that's just going to be a part of uh, being in business in the future, and we need to continue to do better every year. Uh, you never know what each day is going to bring. Uh, certainly it brings challenges, but it also brings rewards. When we return, we'll learn more about the families whose livelihoods depend on Holstein, the world's perfect cow. Heifer rearing costs are the second biggest expense for most dairies. With Estromate from Merck Animal Health, you can expedite breeding and save feed costs. And your first calf heifers can join the milking string and start generating income sooner, easily justifying the investment. Plus, Estromate improves heats, conception, and pregnancy rates, allowing you to use AI more conveniently and more effectively control breeding and calving intervals. Estromate, bring the heat. Learn more at dairycare365.com. As a dairy producer, added value means everything to your operation. At Holstein Association USA, we understand value better than anyone. That's why we've developed Holstein Complete, a package program that combines all the premium services you count on from Holstein Association USA for one discounted price. This includes registration, membership, mating information, classification, pedigrees, genetic reports, and production records, as well as discounts on records processing and genomic testing. Complete your herd today for more profit and convenience. Learn more at HolsteinUSA.com. Illuminate your herd's genetic potential with Enlight. Enlight is a comprehensive online management tool designed to help Holstein dairy producers more efficiently manage herd genetics. A collaboration between the Holstein Association USA and Zoetis, Enlight users have unprecedented access to powerful reporting and analytics, and in a simple and user-friendly format that works on any computer or tablet. Put your herd data to work. Enroll in Enlight. Learn more at EnlightDairy.com. Are you looking for a convenient, easy way to pick the best bulls for your herd's breeding program? If so, look to Redbook Plus from Holstein Association USA. Redbook Plus offers performance information on dozens of traits. Make informed breeding decisions. Use Redbook Plus to sort more than 50,000 herd sires. Visit HolsteinUSA.com to learn more. U.S. registered Holsteins dominate the industry for total production, efficiency, and overall performance. Stand with the best by building up your great Holsteins to registered status. The Holstein Association's USA Startup Program makes it easy to advance your herd to the next level. Any Holstein animal with a grade dam can be registered with the highest possible percentage of registered Holstein ancestry. That means more value for your cattle today and for the future. Learn more about the Startup Program at HolsteinUSA.com. Holstein America is broadcast with support from Merck Animal Health. Trust in leading products Estrumate and Fertigil to improve reproductive performance in your dairy herd. Visit DairyCare365.com to learn more. Grocery stores like this one are modern miracles, and a dairy business helps make it possible. 
Each year, U.S. dairy products generate billions of dollars for the U.S. economy. And much of that activity benefits small towns and rural areas. For instance, a 250 head dairy on average generates more than a million dollars within its local community. One of those dairies is located in the mountains of Utah. This farm has been in, uh, in the Brown family for close to 100 years. My grandfather and my father and two uh, uncles actually was instrumental in building this particular facility right here. It was built in 1961, so we've been milking. We've never missed a milking in that barn in 56 years. Uh, we produced and bottled our own milk. We had depots in the Salt Lake Valley that we delivered our milk to in grass, glass jars. And up until about 10 years ago, we had never sold milk off of, of this farm other than in our own package uh, label. Right from here, you can see the ski slopes of Park City, which is a world-class resort area. It's an area where it's a lot of influx is happening, uh, a lot of individuals and families moving in from mostly the California area. There used to be 20, 30 dairies in Summit County. There are now three uh, functioning dairies in our entire county, and we represent 85% of all the dairy cows in Summit County. And so even though we haven't changed much historically in 55, 60 years, um, things around us are starting to change. The model that we've operated on for quite some time probably is really getting, really becoming a challenge economically. <clears throat> My sons, both of them, like I, have a deep interest in agriculture and love, love the agriculture business, and love the dairy business, love the Holstein cow. And we're just as a family trying to decide how we go forward. I've often thought, what would it be like running a herd of milk cows, Holstein cows, if none of them was registered? And to me, it would take away all the optimism, it would take away all the dreaming. For me personally, on a day-to-day -day basis, of trying to genetically improve my herd and improve my cattle, because it's the registered aspect of it that allows me to really track my progress of how I'm doing from a genetic point of view. I can look into my herd and it's, it's very satisfying to have a group of 10 or 20 cows come into the milking pit and as I get to explain to my cow milkers, you know, I've got three or four generations being milked all at the same time. The reason I know that is because they're registered. I can track their parentage. I, I know who they are. I know where they came from. The cows take on a one-on-one -on -one relationship rather than just a number in their ear. There's no doubt that the Holstein Association and the Holstein cow is led out throughout the world in terms of data, information, and uh, breeding opportunity. It, it's always had the programs, the database, and the information that uh, provides every one of us who have cattle the opportunity of of acquiring the best genetics that's available on the planet for us. Besides the cow and besides the things that we talk about all the time on site, I, I think the thing that really drives you in wanting to be involved in not only the, the industry but the association is the friendships that we create. We're, we're kind of a unique group of people. When you think about 1% of this country is involved in agriculture, it's got to be less than probably one-tenth of one percent of this country is involved in milking cows. And as we gather amongst ourselves at our conventions and at cow shows, there's just a bond between individuals who milk cows. It's hard to explain to the rest of, of society. And it's definitely becoming a little harder, especially for a herd 300 cows. It's kind of the odd side. And so we're we're going through some, some decision-making processes as a family, whether we, we get bigger, whether we get smaller, whether we continue to try to stay here or relocate. I could carve out a living here probably for the rest of my, my opportunity or, or time and daring, but I have a goal to, to be able to make decisions today that will give the next generation hopefully the ability to be dairy farmers uh, for my kids or my grandkids, 
to be able to be raised on a farm. My generation, myself, I will have to make a decision to change my lifestyle, just like some of my forefathers did to give me this opportunity so that maybe a grandkid or a great-grandkid can be doing this type of interview 100 years from now. 99% of all U.S. dairies are family-owned and operated. Mike Santos and his family live in California's Central Valley. Several years ago, he decided to enroll his dairy in the startup program offered by Holstein Association USA. The result is a herd that's now registered and on track for the opportunities of the future. Terra Linda Dairy is a uh, fourth generation dairy farm. We milk about 1,300 Holstein cows. My dad and my grandpa built the place from the ground up. Me and my brother Craig, when we were old enough, we became a part of the family uh, farm and my brother takes care of the farming. I take care of the dairy day-to-day -day operations, uh, the office work and all the genetic uh, information that goes into the dairy herd. I would describe Tulare and Tulare County is a agricultural based um, town. It's uh, small communities with farmland and many dairies. We're in the heart of the state of California. Cotton, almonds, pistachios, wine, you name it, we make it in California. And in uh, dairy, I would say Tulare County is one of the largest dairy counties in the world. So right now our rolling herd average is uh, slightly over 33,000 pounds of milk. Uh, I believe we're the second highest herd in the state of California. Um, our goal is to keep pushing that envelope. My next goal is 35,000 and uh, from there, you know, we want to keep going up. So, you know, right now our butter fat's running 3.7 to 3.8 and our protein's running 3.3 to 3.4. Uh, so we run pretty good flow and we have pretty decent components. Um, to make a nice, uh, nice profitable cow for us. To be honest, I didn't quite think we would get to this point, especially this fast. I, I always thought 30,000 was the magic number, and if you could get to there, that was maybe as high as you could go. But technology and genetics have come so far, and we've learned so much about the cow and uh, how to take care of her better with cow comfort, um, with the nutrition we have. Um, genetic, genetic wise, it, it's come so far. To me, raising uh, registered purebred Holstein cattle, it adds a premium to their value. You have that lineage, you have that paper behind that animal, you know exactly where she traces back to. You can mate her correctly. Um, I, think it, I think it goes hand in hand with cow efficiency. I think the cows that you pay attention to, that you've registered over the years, those tend to be your better cows. They have top AI sires behind their pedigree with proven cow families that have worked. Um, to me, when I market my cattle, when I have that piece of paper, it matters. It brings a premium to those cattle. I think that's the single uh, most important investment you can make on an animal. It's not just an everyday run of the mill Holstein cow that you don't know where it came from. We can tell you exactly where she's from, what she's out of, and predict her future through genomics as well. It's, it's amazing the genetic progress the, the Holstein breed has made over these years. It, if you look at prior production, you know, you go by decades. It's just amazing where the whole industry is as a whole. And, you know, there probably is more upside to be had. I, I'm not sure we've seen the limit to how much these cows can give. And, and to me, it all comes down to how well you can take care of your cows, how well you can feed them, and make the right decisions on your breeding program and then that's how you make the progress in the production. When we come back, we'll see how the Holstein business is an opportunity for producers both small and large. Fertigil from Merck Animal Health makes fertility simple. On-label use with Estramate helps synchronize estrous cycles, allows for fixed time AI, and treatment of ovarian follicular cysts in dairy cows. Plus, research shows Fertigil outperformed Factrel for ovulation rates. Vertigil, the flexibility you need, the quality you demand. Now approved to get the job done. Learn more at dairycare365.com. Illuminate your herd's genetic potential with InLight. InLight is a comprehensive online management tool designed to help Holstein dairy producers more efficiently manage herd genetics. A collaboration between the Holstein Association USA and Zoetis, 
Enlight users have unprecedented access to powerful reporting and analytics, and in a simple and user-friendly format that works on any computer or tablet. Put your herd data to work. Enroll in Enlight. Learn more at enlightdairy.com. As a dairy producer, added value means everything to your operation. At Holstein Association USA, we understand value better than anyone. That's why we've developed Holstein Complete, a package program that combines all the premium services you count on from Holstein Association USA for one discounted price. This includes registration, membership, mating information, classification, pedigrees, genetic reports, and production records, as well as discounts on records processing and genomic testing. Complete your herd today for more profit and convenience. Learn more at HolsteinUSA.com. U.S. registered Holsteins dominate the industry for total production, efficiency, and overall performance. Stand with the best by building up your great Holsteins to registered status. The Holstein Association's USA Startup Program makes it easy to advance your herd to the next level. Any Holstein animal with a grade dam can be registered with the highest possible percentage of registered Holstein ancestry. That means more value for your cattle today and for the future. Learn more about the startup program at HolsteinUSA.com. Are you looking for a convenient, easy way to pick the best bulls for your herd's breeding program? If so, look to Redbook Plus from Holstein Association USA. Redbook Plus offers performance information on dozens of traits. Make informed breeding decisions. Use Redbook Plus to sort more than 50,000 herd sires. Visit HolsteinUSA.com to learn more. Holstein America is brought to you by our friends at Merck Animal Health, the industry's leading provider in dairy care solutions. Fertigil improves pregnancy rates and works with Estromate to achieve estrus synchronization in lactating dairy cows. Visit DairyCare365.com to learn more. The strength of the U.S. dairy industry is in its diversity. Nowhere is this point more clear than in our next two stories. The first takes place in Vermont, the second in California. One is small, the other large. But both are committed to developing economic opportunities for their families through the use of registered Holsteins. It's heartwarming seeing Hannah run around and uh, make friends with all of our animals. She loves the cows, loves the chickens wandering around, just loves being here in the barn with us. I love being able to work with my family every single day. My wife Sarah and I work well together and honestly that was one thing that I wondered about when we were making our business plan was what's it going to be like to work with Sarah every single day, all day. I love her, I loved her then, and I enjoyed being with her and that was one of the reasons we wanted to be back here was because with us working separate jobs we hardly saw each other some days. Fortunately, it turns out that we work really well together and we've learned to communicate effectively and uh, we've learned that nothing said when moving cows should be taken to heart. But working with my family has been the best part that I don't have another boss that I need to answer to that as long as I can do my best for my wife and my daughter and for my cows, uh, that's my ultimate responsibility. My parents bought this farm in 1988 when I was a year old and they milked cows here, 50 registered Holsteins for 17 years before selling the herd shortly after I started college. After that I worked at a few different dairy farms for about five years and then my wife and I decided to come back here and get started and uh, put some cows back in this barn. The single biggest challenge for us was the fact that this barn had been empty for nine years. All of the barn equipment was still here and we knew some of it wasn't going to work. We thought the bulk tank would be fine. It wasn't and when we thought we were a few days away from shipping milk, suddenly we needed to find a new major piece of equipment. Oh, there are days it would be great not to have as much responsibility, but at the same time that's part of what makes it fun, that there's always some kind of challenge we need to overcome, and hopefully one that we realistically can overcome. 
uh, that even though the hours are really long and that we're always short of sleep and there's always more than we can accomplish in a day, uh, we at least always have each other. When I was preparing my business plan and trying to decide whether to come here, uh, it was exciting, it was nerve-wracking, trying to make our numbers realistic. At the end of the day, having income over feed cost, milk per stall, ended up winning out in my business plan. And registered Holsteins were most effectively able to generate that income over feed cost every day. We are genomic testing every single calf right now. I love trying to breed a better cow and work with the genetics. Registered Holsteins have the broadest availability of genetics, the largest number of bulls to choose from, and I think it helps me be able to advance my cows faster and correctively mate them, and it really gives me something to work toward here. We realize that we are making food for people and that we have that responsibility to our consumers and that responsibility really goes to our animals too. We know that people expect us to take excellent care of our cows and that we owe, owe them respect. At the end of the day I want every drop of milk that leaves this farm to be something that I gladly pour on my own cereal in the morning. Our dairy is located in the center of the uh, Central Valley, uh, San Joaquin Valley in California, the most productive uh, agricultural area in the world. They grow 310 commercial crops in our county or in the valley here, and uh, on our farm we grow uh, purebred registered dairy cattle, produce milk, produce feed for the cows, corn and silage and, and uh, winter forage but we also have uh, wine grapes and almonds and a small plot of uh, olives for olive oil. There's multiple Californias from the coastal area to the mountains to the deserts. And my grandfather came out in the, in the late 20s, uh, kind of a dust bowl and, and uh, bought his first property in the late 30s. And, and uh, he was always a cotton farmer. My grandmother loved cows. And uh, that love for cows uh, translated to my father. Back in uh, 1980, we bought this farm here because we had the next generation come from college and wanted to make a home for all the family members if they wanted to, to work. To make it cash flow, we sized a dairy to uh, fit it. Uh, ended up having capacity of over 3,000 cows, and that's where we're at today. Tell you what, there's nothing like uh, showing cattle and uh, taking a little extra interest in breeding better cattle than having registered Holsteins. We're classifying this week. We do we classify three times a year on their limited program, which means you're doing every first lactation cow. Basically what you're doing is you're you're doing a linear breakdown of different parts of the cows. We can compare with cows not just across the United States, but around the world, and, and help establishing values, help establishing uh, priorities, um, that we can individually look at the cows with their pedigrees and do a true evaluation of, of uh, what they bring to, not just our herd, but to the industry. Whether it's selling breeding bulls to uh, neighboring dairymen in California, to selling uh, uh, embryos to uh, export and domestic, uh, from 1,500 to 3,000 embryos a year to selling uh, semen from our elite cow families that we also genomically test from those bulls. Genomics have uh, added to the great job that uh, Holstein has done in, in their type evaluation, but what it really has done is really focused on the health traits, uh, breeding efficiency, productive life, semantic cell count, and, and the more animals they test, the more accurate it is, and uh, it's, it's really getting us to the full uh, concept of, of a, a efficient, productive, sustainable cow. The eternal optimists that dairy men are, purebred people are, are even more so because they look at a unit of semen and visualize what a mating with that semen with that cow will give you three and four years down the line. But if you look at the last 70 years on, on uh, efficiency, our genetics promoted by the Holstein industry have increased our efficiency by 
whether it's uh, milk production or whether it's uh, better use of resources, better cow comfort, better for the communities. It's all been led by the genetic efforts by the Holstein Association. Registered Holstein secures my future mainly because my future is in my kids and my grandkids. We have a tremendous asset in the genetics. There's a demand around the world. Anywhere where they're importing dairy products, they want to also have a certain amount of their own industry. And if they want the best quality dairy products, they come to the United States. If they want the best genetics, same place. U.S. Holsteins are the gold standard for the international dairy business, leading the way for improved genetics, production, and less environmental impact. Holstein America will be right back after this informational segment from our friends at Merck Animal Health. The Orosa family emigrated to California from the North Atlantic's Azores Islands in 1912 and set in motion a dairying tradition that continues five generations later. My, my grandfather started buying registered Holstein bulls in the middle 40s and, and the idea was is to, to make a better cow. And, and the idea was a better cow makes you more money. If you know uh, the pedigrees of your cows, the lineage, and you can track it, and then uh, always stay on the cutting edge of using the best genetics, uh, then you have some added value there uh, with the registered Holstein cow. And uh, really concentrated on cows that are have really good functional, functional type, good udders, good feet and legs, uh, a lot of capacity. Um, also, uh, paid a lot of attention to components. The family currently milks about 3,000 cows. Their rolling herd average is about 34,000 pounds. They also farm more than 1,000 acres. To achieve a high level of production, the family focuses on cow care and comfort and ensuring they do everything they can to get cows bred. One of the big things on the farm is you have to get cows pregnant. You can't put milk in the tank if you don't have fresh cows. To synchronize females in their fixed time artificial insemination program, Nuriosa relies on Estromate and Fertigil, two reproductive management products from Merck Animal Health. We start out with uh, an Estromate shot if, if the cow needs it at about 14 days, 14 to 21 days fresh. And then at that point, we'll let her have a couple of natural heats, hopefully. And then uh, when she gets to, to 72 days, then she'll automatically enroll into the double obsync program. Every cow in the dairy gets bred this way to maintain regular calving intervals. You know, hopefully, if everything goes according to plan, she has a breeding somewhere between 82 and, and uh, 90 days. And then in a perfect world, she's pregnant. And she goes on her merry way. With better pregnancy rates, Arosa sees potential for continuous improvements and efficiencies for his dairy. From a management standpoint, we would like to just go to one, one day a week breeding. And uh, so from a labor standpoint and from a management standpoint, all those things, you know, probably are in the future, you know, to making your labor costs a little more efficient. Our breeding program continues to prove that probably it's as good now as it's ever been, and I think we can attribute some of that to Vertigal and then Estimate. Visit DairyCare365.com to learn more. Merck Animal Health is proud to sponsor Holstein America and bring the best cattle care solutions to the nation's dairy farmers. Fertigil and Estromate are proven to enhance reproductive efficiency and productivity. Visit Dairy Care 365 to learn more. Dairy products are like a lot of things in our modern lives, often taken for granted. Consumers today have easy access to the safest, highest quality milk and dairy products in the world. And it takes a lot of committed people to get it right. So these are all weaned heifers that are three to four months, small group sizes, clean bedding. Plenty, of, plenty to eat, and they grow really fast, if you do it right. My name's Rick Adams, and um, my wife and I, Marlene Adams, own Sugar Creek Dairy LLC in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. We have 600 cows, um, all registered cows. As a kid, we had uh, 50 dairy cows, and over a thousand pigs and a hundred steers on feed so in the 70s and 80s and when I got old enough I took over the dairy herd and managed it 
uh, with my brother. We did that until 1997, and then um, I found another like-minded dairyman that wasn't related to us. And uh, I only had 40 registered cows when I left Lake Geneva, and then we started grading them up in 2000, 99, 2000. We graded up uh, through a whole scenes program, and uh, that's how we got started. If a consumer wanted to know how we do things, I would just say we, we get up early in the morning. We, our first shift starts at 3.30, and uh, we milk the cows three times a day. And out of 24-hour days, we milk 21 hours. So um, there's always activity here. There's cows calving. There's cows um, being milked. There's cows being fed. And all those things are important to the livelihood of the business. In the beginning, when, what kept me doing it was um, the possibilities of the genetics of having something that you never had before and just improving what you had over the previous generation. So the Holstein Association's um, helped us in many ways and, and one of them is the consistency of the information. Um, the recording of the information from generation to generation is the only way you can track improvement, whether it's type or production. Um, if you're going to make progress, it has to be documented, and it's the best way I know how. I don't know of another way to do this. We've had a, some bulls go to AI. We've had um, we've bought embryos and 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 gotten some terrific cow families involved in our herd that I didn't have previously. So having the registration um, uh, on the on each cow or each calf that's here, the registration paper is very important to me. Um, I can sell them with confidence that they are who I said they are that the performance that is documented um, is certified and, and is real. And um, you can't measure anything if you don't manage it. You can't manage it if you can't measure it. So the grade cattle are fine, but you, you're, not gonna me you're not gonna improve from year to year. You can't sell more milk than last year unless you're making progress genetically. And that's where Holstein comes in. The reward for the work we do is, is, is huge. It's, it's meat, it, we, pro we produce meat here, we produce milk, we produce calves. Um, we, we rotate the crops out in the fields from one, one variety of corn to a wheat field to a hay field. And uh, we manage the fertilizer from the cows and it goes back on the land. Um, it's very important, it's part of the whole package of, of taking care of the, the, the um, well-being of the cow. We wouldn't, we wouldn't do anything against the the well-being of the cow, it just, um, it just doesn't happen here. So what I love most about the Holstein business is the challenge of, um, of trying to do the best that the cows can, can uh, give you. To raise your level of genetics from one level down here, way up here, to another level is, is, uh, is half, the, half the challenge that I like and enjoy so much, is comparing with other breeders around the country and um, trying to see where I can improve and where, where we can make progress. I never get tired of going to World Dairy Expo and looking at some of the most famous cows on the planet walking around, so um, it's something you can always dream about with the Holsteins, is having something really outstanding that you produced. Um, there's nobody has a corner of the mark in this game. You can produce the next show winner or the next high genomic animal if you keep at it long enough. Uh, we've acquired enough knowledge now where these things don't surprise us anymore, the ups and downs. And uh, we're not, we're not going to be scared off um, by bad year, bad weather. It doesn't, the future's always looking fairly bright. Um, with, with these Redshirt Holsteins, it's just, and we've seen it all, I guess, after 30 years. So um, we're real happy where we're at right now. The land rolls uh, gently. Uh, it's the best for contour farming. Uh, then there's lots of trees and ditches for hunting. Uh, we've got it all. <laughs> this is Claycore Farms, home of Claycore Holsteins. We're the only uh, grade A dairy in Buchanan County. We have 196 cows in the milking line produce about uh, 14,500 pounds of milk a day. Our rolling herd average is uh, a little over 25,000. I like registered Holsteins for the same reason most dairymen in uh, North America. They're a very profitable breed of cattle. When I, uh, when I graduated 
uh, from the University of Missouri in 1973, uh, a 15,000-pound rolling herd average. That was a high rolling herd average. Now, I mean, rolling herd averages, uh, I mean, they go clear up into the 30s. One, one thing I remember about uh, my time at the university was in one of the books, it showed a picture of the, uh, all, it was a Holstein cow, and, and the caption on it was the foster mother of the human race. And at the time, they said there had not been a vitamin discovered that milk didn't have in it. The quality of milk that leaves dairy farms is so high. We're producing a, a product that uh, people need. I mean, everything that we do is for the benefit of uh, uh, society. Well, my goal would be for every calf that hits the ground to be a potential excellent cow. And, uh, to say milk 30,000 pounds is a mature cow with say 1,200 of fat, 1,000 of protein. Um, and to, to do it well enough and long enough that when she leaves here as a, we'll say as a long four-year-old, she would go on and, and do that for several more years for the buyer. It's easy to sell a good Holstein. Um, we, we sold 65 uh, Holsteins this year to uh, other dairymen that, that wanted them. We enroll in the Holstein Complete Program because it uh, helps us get cows classified, it helps us to get calves registered, and uh, that's the beginning goal of our operation. Well, classifying gives us a, a real good breakdown on the cow to use for mating purposes. I'll say that's the most important part of uh, classification. That just motivates me to choose bulls that will raise the total performance index uh, of the next generation. I, I do think that 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 formula is a, is a good indication of uh, uh, profitability. We, we really do look forward to the next calf that hits the ground simply because it's, it should be better than, than the mother. Just the, the hope of uh, the next generation being better and us having the security of a really good bunch of heifers coming on, I mean, that's, that is, that's really motivating for me. When we return, the great American story is alive and well. And nowhere is this more evident than with the Papa George family of Utah. Heifer rearing costs are the second biggest expense for most dairies. With Estromate from Merck Animal Health, you can expedite breeding and save feed costs. And your first calf heifers can join the milking string and start generating income sooner, easily justifying the investment. Plus, Estromade improves heats, conception, and pregnancy rates, allowing you to use AI more conveniently and more effectively control breeding and calving intervals. Estromade, bring the heat. Learn more at dairycare365.com. U.S. registered Holsteins dominate the industry for total production, efficiency, and overall performance. Stand with the best by building up your great Holsteins to registered status. The Holstein Association's USA Startup Program makes it easy to advance your herd to the next level. Any Holstein animal with a grade dam can be registered with the highest possible percentage of registered Holstein ancestry. That means more value for your cattle today and for the future. Learn more about the Startup Program at HolsteinUSA.com. Are you looking for a convenient, easy way to pick the best bulls for your herd's breeding program? If so, look to Red Book Plus from Holstein Association USA. Red Book Plus offers performance information on dozens of traits. Make informed breeding decisions. Use Red Book Plus to sort more than 50,000 herd sires. Visit HolsteinUSA.com to learn more. Illuminate your herd's genetic potential with InLight. InLight is a comprehensive online management tool designed to help Holstein dairy producers more efficiently manage herd genetics. 
a collaboration between the Holstein Association USA and Zoetis. In light, users have unprecedented access to powerful reporting and analytics, and in a simple and user-friendly format that works on any computer or tablet. Put your herd data to work. Enroll in Enlight. Learn more at enlightdairy.com. As a dairy producer, added value means everything to your operation. At Holstein Association USA, we understand value better than anyone. That's why we've developed Holstein Complete, a package program that combines all the premium services you count on from Holstein Association USA for one discounted price. This includes registration, membership, mating information, classification, pedigrees, genetic reports, and production records, as well as discounts on records processing and genomic testing. Complete your herd today for more profit and convenience. Learn more at HolsteinUSA.com. Holstein America is sponsored by Merck Animal Health, an industry leader in dairy care solutions. Estrumate puts you in control of your breeding program. Use with Fertigil to improve reproductive efficiency within the herd. Visit DairyCare365.com to learn more. A grocery store like this one is really a tribute to modern agriculture. Abundant, high quality food available 24 hours a day in nearly every town in the country. This capability is also something that took generations to build. Utah's Papa George family is just one of thousands of families whose story began a long time ago when their own American dream and continues today thanks to years of raising high quality registered Holsteins. So my grandpa Harry, as you guys have met, um, I actually call him my papu because we're Greek and that's how you say grandpa in Greek. He is super inspiring because he never stops working. Come on girls, come on, get up. He's always out at the farm. Get up. And he wants to be out here with the cows. He's 83 years old and he still is able to work out here because he always kept going and he's never given up and he's always kept working hard and always put the cows first. I think how much he cares about the cows is exceptional and that's a really big secret to our success. <laughs> I was 30 years old when I got married. My mother was worried I'd end up being an old bachelor but I, I waited until I got the one I wanted and, and I got some good kids and some good grandkids. Oh well, my father came from Greece at the age of 18, was the third member of his family to come over to, and landed here in Ogden. That would have been in the late teens. As kids, we worked hard because back then there was a sugar shortage. In the fall of 1944, the beat check was big enough to pay off the mortgage. And I remember real plain, my dad setting that uh, mortgage on fire and holding it till it burnt right to the end of his fingers. From then on, it seemed like we made progress. You know, milking cows is a way of making money, but the, the registered aspect of it just made it a lot more interesting because of the going to the shows, trying to achieve breeding better type, better uh, producing animals. And the cow that's made right will be a milk cow. And it's just been an inspiration to us to keep going. I think that having registered animals has really helped us because of all the information that registration provides. We're able to look at the pedigree information and the production information and make it so that we can always be advancing and working to better our cows. Well, a registered Holstein cow has kept us in business because of, over the years we developed a tremendously good bull market. 
We sell bulls all over the West. And we exported a lot of bulls to various countries, to Japan, Mexico. If it hadn't been for the sale of breeding stock, we probably wouldn't be in business today. I think the freedom to do what you like to do, and if you're determined enough and have the right talents, you can go from rags to riches. It's a way of life, and with the hope that the next generations are always going to be better than the last one, so it's, it's something to work forward to. The hope that the next generation is better off than the last. That's the goal of the registered Holstein business and the commitment that dairy producers around the country have made to producing the world's perfect cow and the world's perfect food. If you'd like to learn more about Holstein Association USA and how you can take advantage of its programs or services, visit HolsteinUSA.com. On behalf of America's registered Holstein breeders, thanks for watching Holstein America. I'm Michelle Davidson.